15,000 years ago, it is believed that dogs were domesticated from wolves in Asia. But how did this evolution go before that year? And what happened until today? Welcome to another unique episode of History Bazaar. Today we dive into the history of our loyal, beloved friends, the dogs. The Simulestes was a rat-looking creature that lived on Earth 70 million years before Christ until the year 1889. Interestingly, 30 million years before Christ, some of them evolved itself to the next creature, the Tapasion, until the day the Tapasion gave life to the bear, cat, skunks, hyenas, and our friends, the dogs. It only took them 15 million years to evolve into the Sinodictus, by now the historical dog creature was about 30 centimeters high, which is about one foot. Then we travel for 13 million years to the year 2 million before Christ and the beautiful creature appeared to be the Mesocyon. It was still more of a cat looking animal, but on hearsay for being a dog. 1,500,000 years before Christ, the Archaeocyon evolved and it was the first little bit dog-looking creature on Earth. Only 200,000 years later, we got to the Cynodesus, the same format as the modern coyote. He wasn't the best runner since he mostly attacked his creatures from the ambush. After some years, the animal started to need to learn to run and evolved into a Tamartus, a hyena-looking animal. Some years later, there walked a Eusion around the United States, which was about 15 kilograms and that's a big 33 pounds. We are now something like a dog-looking animal. It only took 200,000 years to evolve into the wolves, AKA the Canis Scipio. Because of humanity, the animal got mixed and mixed and evolved into Canis Etruscus. By then, these animals were also found in Europe. Some animals must have traveled with them overseas to Europe. Since we got to the real nature of wolves, they called them the Canis Lupus, a wild carnivore hunter which ends up pretty high on our food chain. Don't worry, it's not the end. We still got a beautiful road to go. Canis lupus familiarius dog played important roles in early human societies, serving as hunting companions, guardians, and even as a source of food. Over time, different breeds of dogs were developed for specific purposes such as hunting, herding, and guarding. These breeds were often developed by breeding dogs with desirable traits together, creating a more specialized and diverse range of dogs. In more recent history, dogs have continued to play important roles in human society. During the Industrial Revolution, dogs were used in factories and mines to help with manual labor. In the 20th century, dogs were widely used in the military and law enforcement for tasks such as tracking, search and rescue, and detection work. Today, dogs continue to be popular pets and are known for their loyalty, intelligence, and ability to form strong bonds with their human companions. There are hundreds of different breeds of dogs, each with its unique traits and characteristics. Dogs are also used in a variety of roles, from therapy and service animals, and even as actors in movies and TV shows. It even seems that dogs are highly sensitive and can feel more energy than humans. Most researchers who study canine genetics agree that dogs are domesticated wolves. After all, their scientific name is Canis lupus familiaris. But the exact time that the relationship between wolves and humans turned from distrust and fear to a mutually beneficial partnership is disputed. A large body of research suggests that dogs were domesticated between 12,500 and 15,000 years ago, but recent genetic studies suggest that domestication might have taken place even earlier. Some researchers believe that dogs might have commingled with humans as early as 130,000 years ago, long before our human ancestors settled into agricultural communities. Another controversy surrounds the origins of these earliest domesticated dogs. Evidence pointed to both Asia and Europe as a site of initial domestication, resulting in an unusual scientific tug of war. 
a 2016 study suggested that dogs were actually domesticated twice in both Europe and Asia. But a study published in 2017 pushed back on these results and suggests one domestication, but provides evidence that this event took place earlier, between 20,000 and 40,000 years ago. Recently published research in Cell Reports, looking at the genetics of more than 150 dog breeds, also has unearthed genetic traces of a New World dog that migrated with humans across the Bering Strait. Archaeological evidence existed of this ancient dog, but the study was first to show living evidence of these dogs in modern breeds, including the Peruvian hairless dog and the Scholoitz Quintley. Most other dogs in North America are of European descent, first brought to the continent by waves of soldiers and settlers, and later imported for breeding purposes. Most dog breeds we recognize today were developed in the last 150 years, spurred by what's become known as the Victorian Explosion. During this time in Great Britain, dog breeding intensified and expanded, resulting in many of our most recognizable breeds of dogs. The Victorians, influenced by the ideas of Darwin, became passionate about breeding for the ideal of a certain breed. Many of the conformational traits we think of as classic for a certain type of dog have their origins in this era. Scroll through pictures of dog breeds from 100 years ago compared to their current counterparts and you can see the dramatic changes that have occurred as dog fanciers selectively bred for traits such as shorter legs, Dutch hounds were taller back then, and stockier build. German Shepherd dogs were lankier at the turn of the last century. Breeding for conformational traits continued through the 20th century. The result is that 400 plus types of dogs are recognized as distinct breeds. The downside of this extensive breeding program was the loss of genetic diversity and conformation changes that had detrimental breed-specific health consequences, including the development of undesirable diseases. As we approach the third decade of the 21st century, Technological advances have given scientists a new perspective on mankind's best friend. Canine companions spontaneously develop some of the same diseases that plague humans, such as cancer, heart disease, and obesity. Researchers hope that dogs might shed light on how these conditions develop, ultimately leading to treatments that could help both species. One such study is the Morris Animal Foundation Golden Retriever Lifetime Study which is gathering lifetime and genetic information on more than 3,000 golden retrievers. This groundbreaking project will provide a wealth of new information that will help identify risk factors for canine diseases, including many cancers. This study also has many transitional components that may inform human health risk factors. Morris Animal Foundation was one of the first organizations to recognize the potential of genetic research by unlocking the genetic code, Foundation-funded researchers have discovered new therapy targets, genetic abnormalities underlying disease, and a greater understanding of the problems afflicting our beloved companions. Learn more about how the Foundation continues to fund innovative research by the best scientists to advance animal health through science. Hopefully you enjoyed our show. Watch this video right here, and don't forget to subscribe.